This is uh, Eric from uh, Chemtech Services. We're uh, today we're going to be working on showing how to uh, do our pump upgrade with the motors. Uh, I'm, everything you see here is what you're going to need. You also, uh, I recommend having one other person with you uh, to help you uh, put the motor on. Uh, first thing you'll need is your Bodine motor. You have your uh, bracket here, a 7 uh wrench, an M8 uh, Allen wrench, your pump. 4 M10 by 50 millimeter bolts, your coupling, uh, 4 uh, quarter inch by inch and a, half, inch and a quarter uh, bolts, 4 nuts, your vacuum grease, and your control box. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pump, we're going to grease the, the other side of it. Make sure it gets all along that face. Okay. We're going to take our M10 bolts, our Allen, and our bracket, and we're going to uh, place this up onto. Our unit. So come on over here. There are two holes on your pump a large hole and then an, a small hole for your inlet and outlet. Your outlet is the small hole, your inlet is the big hole. Underneath your plate, there are the same size holes. You have to match them up correctly with each other. Oops. Tighten it up with your Allen. Make sure it's nice and secure. Okay. Next, take your motor, put your coupling on. Uh, this is where I recommend having a second person with you. I'm going to take my four quarter inch bolts and all, all, all the nuts. And your wrench. I have Jim go around the back. Uh, next, we're going to uh, attach uh, the motor and the pump uh, onto our bracket. Uh, so uh, Jim's going to hold up the motor for me. You gotta come back a little bit. There you go.
take our pump or motor and we're gonna make sure it goes all the way up and fits in with the pump. Keep going up. There you go. Leave a little space, so let it come down a little bit so that there's a little play in between the pump and the motor. We're gonna tighten up our bolts. Uh, when all finished, uh, the bolts are all nice and tightened. Your, uh, you, you make sure that your coupling is nice and loose. This one's a little tighter, but that's okay. Still has its play. And next we'll uh, mount our uh, uh, control box. Okay, this is our control box. Uh, we uh, recommend one of two places of placing it on uh, the frame. One of the two places is uh, right here. You will have to take a 5 uh, drill bit and drill through the metal and uh, put a quarter inch um, by uh, one and a quarter inch again bolts through them. Um, one on the top, one on the bottom. Or you can go long ways like this and we recommend that you do the same uh, 5 16 bolt or uh, drill bit and we do uh, a quarter inch by inch and a half uh, bolt. After everything is mounted, make sure uh, you uh, plug everything in, uh, plug into the wall and you should, you're ready to go.